Hi friends, I'm Dr. Rohit Batra from Dermo World Skin and Hair Clinics and today we are going to talk about dandruff. What is dandruff? Dandruff or as we call it in scientific terms, seborrheic dermatitis is a flaky disease which many people call or scientific theories suggest that it occurs in hairy areas where there is excessive sebum production, sebum being the oil that is produced by our body. Well, there is another theory that talks about malaysia that's a fungus that grows in these hairy areas and give rise to dandruff. What are the areas that dandruff usually occurs in? Well, the commonest being the scalp, in men's especially the hairy areas just like the chest and at times in intertriginous areas dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis can also occur. Well, Many males and females are unable to wear black clothes because of the dandruff scales that's the white powdery material that sheds on their clothes and they are hesitant in wearing dark colored clothes. So what are the remedies? Well, there are many sh shampoos and uh, scalp solutions that can be used to treat dandruff. The contents of these shampoos and solutions contain an antifungal or a mild steroid at times you will find ketoconazole, zinc uh, pyroxide or cyclopyroxamine that are there in these shampoos and uh, solutions that we get, the scalp solutions basically. And at times when the scales are very thick, one must also consider psoriasis as a differential diagnosis which a patient might be suffering from and is considering that they are just suffering from a dandruff. If it's a psoriasis, there will be scaling not only on the scalp but also elbows, knees and other body parts. So if your scaling is not limited to just your scalp, you might be suffering from psoriasis and make sure you visit a dermatologist to have a diagnosis for yourself that whether it's a seborrheic dermatitis or a psoriasis that you are dealing with and that will help you treat the problem. Also in children, seborrheic dermatitis is found uh, in neonates but this at times goes on its own or at times we need to give mild cleansers to treat it and at times children also suffer from a condition known as tinea capitis which looks like dandruff but there is visible loss of hair on that patch also. So if your child or a neonate is suffering from something on the scalp, you need to visit a dermatologist 